Saro chairman S. Somanath, while speaking to ANI on October 14th, said that the test vehicle D1 mission under the Gaganyan program is scheduled for October 21st. Test vehicle D1 mission is scheduled on 21st October. So this is a Gaganyan program. Gaganyan program requires uh, testing, demonstrating the crew escape system. So crew escape system is a very critical system in Gaganyan. In anything happens to the rocket, you have to save the crew by moving the crew away from the exploding rocket, uh, at least by two kilometers. So this uh, test is uh, to demonstrate that uh, crew escape system in one condition of the flight. So this condition today we are demonstrating is called transonic uh, condition. So that condition, this rocket will go up to something like 12 to 16 kilometer. Then we'll trigger an abort, then take the crew away. How many launches? We have a launches in the upcoming... Like a, a lot of launches. Every month we'll have at least one launch. So we have launched uh, this test vehicle, then after that we have GSLV, then we have SSLV, then after that uh, again Gaganyan uh, unmanned mission will be there, in between there will be PSLV launch. So before January you will see at least three, four, four, five launches. So what about the audit test status? Way. It is working very well. It takes uh, very long days, no? It takes almost 110 days to travel from Earth to L1 point, so by, by January middle we will reach the L1 point. Then at that point we will do the insertion into the Lagrangian point. That is called a halo orbit. It's a big orbit. So that will happen by middle of January. So when will you complete the Kulasegara another uh, rocket launch pad? Rocket launch pad at Kulasegara Patanam is, uh, is currently under planning, design. So we have to tender it out now and uh, place orders. So we are expecting another uh, few months that will be completed. Then we will uh, take almost uh, two years to complete the work. So what is the ben uh, economic benefit? If you have any another launch No, the benefit is three. we have only one launch pad called Sri Kota. But Sri Kota is on the or much on the northern side. So if you have to launch towards south, it, the rocket has to take a turn around Sri Lanka, which is uh, loss for small rockets. But for big rockets, that loss is not there. So if you have to launch uh, rockets like SSLV or private rockets, then it is better to launch it from southern point. So in southern point, Kanyamari, we, we will not get this much of areas. That's why it's a little bit north we have taken the Golisagar Patanam uh, launch pad, which is safer uh, place. So we can launch towards south very easily. News Desk, Global. Thank you.